Hi everyone, how's it going? The idea to talk about this topic, trade income compared to investment income has been on my mind for a little while and I'm finally taking the time to sit down to discuss it and I happen to feel it's a very interesting topic and there's a lot, there's a lot going on. Okay, I took notes because I don't want to waste your time. First, I'm going to talk about trade. Trade income. We're always going to need people who know how to do a trade. Construction people, builders, carpet installers, plumbers, electricians, painters, cement pourers, mechanics, auto car, auto body work, line cooks, chefs, bartenders, servers, and other professions like doctors and nurses, dentists, x-ray technicians, teachers, nannies, um, senior care, delivery people. There are so many different kind of jobs out there that people can provide a service and get paid to do it, to supply it, whether you work for a company or not. Because a lot of these jobs like you know, like as an example, delivery people, there's so many companies you can work for because shopping online has become so much in demand. There's so many different companies. Anyway, there's nothing wrong. I, will, I would always tell a young person, learn a few trades while you're young, you have a lot of energy, but also gain some financial education. That I'll get to in a moment. But never knock a trade, because we're always going to need someone to provide a service. They'll, all the things I mentioned, and, I'm, and of course there's hundreds and thousands of more kind of jobs out there, they're always going to be in demand as long as there are people who need that service provided. Another reason you should learn some kind of trade over the years, I've taught myself many things, and I have, I, um, I did go to beauty school years ago. It wasn't my strong point. I did give it my all, and I did, but I know enough to keep myself well-groomed. Here's an example. I usually, before the pandemic, I would get, oh, four haircuts a year, maybe five, and I would groom myself and trim my hair in between. And I color my own hair. I know I need a hair color now, but I do color my own hair. And when I'm fresh and ready to go, I've had many times people have said to me, your hair looks great, Michelle. And that's after I trimmed it in between cuts and I colored it. I definitely save at least $500 a year, minimum, because I do it myself. And I know people that would never touch their hair, do things themselves. So that's a, that's a huge money saver. I've been doing this, God, since I was 20. That's a good thing. Another example, I'm updating my home. I'm painting. Okay, I'm not a professional, but I don't do a bad job either. I'm updating my home the best I can on my own time during this pandemic. I see this as an opportunity. We've discussed this before, if you follow me, but I'm pretty handy. I know to, I, I know how to take out shelves properly, clean them, bring them back to life, fill in some holes, scrape the old paint off the best I can, I'll sand it down a little bit, make it smooth, let all the old pieces come off, clean it good, vacuum it, clean it, tape it so it looks crisp and clean when you pull up the tape, a nice line, nice straight lines. It's, it's going to come out beautiful, and they are. They're coming out beautiful, <clears throat> especially since I'm using the right materials now, life experience. I'm definitely saving a couple of thousand dollars, and I'm going to paint this whole place. I know I'm capable. One more example. Years ago, it was like five or six years ago, I watched some videos. Family helped me. Uh, I took the time to go back and forth to the hardware store. I replaced parts in my toilet bowl. I live in an apartment building, I own a co-op, and it's a different kind of flow. So I took the time to research, to learn, and with some help from family, I did it myself. 
not pipes behind the wall, but pipes that are on my side. The toilet has worked the way it should work for years. I saved myself a lot of money. I'm a handyman. Everyone should learn a little bit, you know, a little bit of trades. And if you could know a few really well, you know, be really good at it, you could save yourself money throughout the course of your life, thousands and thousands of dollars. Never knock a trade, right guys? Now here's towards the closing of this video. Now I'm comparing trade income to investment income. I wasn't raised with financial education, so I saw and I, and I felt it. In my 30s, I already felt it. My life's going to get harder as I get older. It's going to get harder. It's going to get harder. No, 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 no. I wasn't going there. I still work. I still work part-time. That's the way it should be. Um, of course, with the pandemic now, you know the deal, but I'm not speaking. I'm speaking during re regular times. Um, I sensed it was going to get harder because I didn't have the same energy that I had when I was younger. I had no financial education. My money wasn't working for me. At least now I have a lot of little things that my money's working for me. The apps that I promote generate income. Some of them, I have a couple. They're earning me daily residual income. I'm working smarter, not harder. I developed 21st century skills with technology, the computers, I learned WordPress. I'm building a website that's becoming an asset and not a liability anymore. It's going to bring in more money than I need to spend to run it. Um, and I lost track a little bit. What else? I, I put into play that my money works for me. I um, moved money into a savings account that's earning me interest that I wasn't earning at my other bank, stuff like that. And a lot of little things do add up to a lot and you can feel the less stress, the less worry, the less running in circles and working, 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 physical, 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 physical until you drop because my money is working smarter for me. Investing. I learned about Robin Hood and Weebill, Weebill um, from the gig economy, a uh, gig community. I always say that. I follow the gig community, Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, and other app opportunities, other app jobs. Um, then it led me to Fidelity, and I have all my stock market investing in a Fidelity portfolio, and I'm doing okay, and I've learned a lot in the past year. No regrets. None. I'm a little bit of ahead of the game than I am less, and that's really good. I did something right. Not only, not, not huge amounts, but a lot of little things do add up to a good chunk of money that can relieve financial worries. Now, the next investment that I took the time, because I sensed it, and I sensed it a while ago, but I didn't have the time to really sit down and focus on this next, I guess, stock market investing, cryptocurrency. There is no doubt in my mind that digital currency will become the norm. Um, there is no question I feel there's no question that physical money will be used the way it is today and it's already subsiding. Um, I sensed it a while back, but I didn't have enough time to research, to educate myself about cryptocurrency. I finally invested. And if you visit the link in the description below, I share that video on my other YouTube channel, Internet Education 101 YouTube channel, and I will show you the two cryptocurrencies that I invested in because I don't want to miss this opportunity. I have a lot to learn, but I also learned enough that I said, well, this is an opportunity. 
the money that we're receiving, the FPUC, it's holding me afloat to get things done, but I'm also taking some of that money and, and, and investing it into my future, and I'm going to forget it. Um, digital transactions is already in play. Maybe you don't realize it. I started doing it with a debit card. I was like, oh, I don't need cash anymore. I know where I'm going today. I just need my debit card. Now, I'm more comfortable with Apple Pay. I love it. Once I got off, once I got over that learning curve and that fear, I love it. I'm not going to worry about being followed anymore because you can't beat you can't beat what's going down. You can't beat the odds. It's it's happening. It's here. Apple Pay. We are gig app workers. I I drive for Uber, and I love their. I do Uber Eats, and I love using their Uber Visa debit card, and I transfer the money I earn to that card, and I buy gas with that card. There's no, all the money's moving without me actually touching money. It's digital. Um, and then I get some cash back, and then I use the GetUpside app, which you can find in the link, the link in the description below, and I get more cash back. It's all digital. And then when that accumulates, and I think I'm up to 40 or $50 now with GetUpside app, um, I'm going to digitally transfer that to my PayPal account. And then I'm going to send it to my um, checking account, all digital. Do you get it? You can't fight it. 5G, I was upset with it. You can't fight it. I'm just going to find out how I can protect myself because I happen to feel 5G is um, very strong and there's a lot coming into play with that. But the whole point is we are already living in a digital currency world. So you better get up with the 21st century or you're going to be left behind. I hope you found this video interesting. It's already on 12 minutes. There's so much going on. There's so much at stake. You have to get you have to get in the game. And if you're watching Tracy, there's a woman Tracy that lives out here on the island that I know she knows a lot more about this. And I remember her a while back speaking about cryptocurrency. I finally took the time to at least familiarize myself with it because I'm fearful. But the goal is, listen to videos constantly now, educate myself, financial education. I don't want to get left behind. I feel sorry for people that are planning on living the, ne the last 30 years on their pension or with Social Security because I, don't, I happen to feel that money's not going to be there for them. And I've witnessed, long story short, my mother was someone who worked for Fortune Office, if you're, if you're familiar with that. And those people who work for Fortune lost, lost, lost a lot of money. And to this day, she is so friggin' bitter. Bitter. Don't, don't lose your money. Set yourself up that you have, that you won't lose your money that way. Invest smart. Don't listen to people. Leave it in there. Leave it in there because it's not going to be there anymore. That's just my opinion, guys. So if you want to visit and listen to the um, other video with the stocks, with, with, well, with the um, cryptocurrency I bought, I, I guess it's stocks. It's cryptocurrency stocks. I'm learning, and I'll show you the broker that I used and the two cryptocurrencies that I bought. I'll see you guys. Very long video, lots of information. I hope you found it interesting. Give a thumbs up, give a like, and check out the other video. Bye, guys.